Well, 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 it wasn't the bishop moving. Oh, I probably would have made a mistake. Also, Jan Smeets made a mistake, actually, and didn't find the correct move, which is, it's so absurd in, in, in many ways, in my opinion. It's king to f4. Can you get into detail, Carsten? Yeah, that's the only drawing move, because uh, if you wait with the bishop, then white can execute the threat. Mm -hmm force you to change the stop diagonal and now bishop g6 comes and white wins yeah. you would be drawing if you can put play king g5 now to reach Santorini's uh, drawing fortress uh, the draw according to Santorini's rule and this is the reason why king f4 is the only move mm -hmm. because if now the same happens you have king g5 and this setup is always a draw this has no exceptions when both Stopping diagonals have at least four squares. Then it's always a, this setup is always a draw. This is Santorini's rule. Wow. This is an easy part. No exceptions. No Zugzwang. No deflection. Whatever you try, black uh, always has a defensive move. And it's not so difficult to find. Okay, if white would try king f8, by the way, here, then of course black black's king will has to take the same side as white's king now we have Santorini's draw mm. on the other side and very important of course this uh, move to f4 has a big big purpose because king f5 cannot work of course yeah then uh, loser this loses because now this comes with check and you can't play bishop d5 then Tricky. with the king on f4 you can defend with bishop d5 but now the f pawn is just um Queening. Yeah, when uh, in Santorini's setup, one stopping diagonal is shorter than four squares, then it gets complicated. Mm. Then it can be lost or can be drawn. It then depends on the exact setting of uh, the man, if there's a bishop deflection or Zugzwang and so on. Yeah, th this is more complicated, so I will stick with the easy version. This is when, when both stopping diagonals have at least four squares, like here, it is always a draw. We have a game between Mr. Anand against Mr. Rajabov. It's from 2009. Anand won. Anand is white. And Anand definitely found the best move for white. Now, that's just one part of this exercise. When you get this correct, everything is fine. If you want to be a bit more clever than some other people, you can also name the kind of winning path And uh, I mean specifically Queen and Knight, who is forming a strong attacking duel, uh, which is in this respect often superior to the Queen and the Bishop. So what is it called? Is it Capablanca's theorem? Is it Anand's attacking duel? Is it Spielmann's knight magic? Or Queen and Knight and the attack will be all right. Do you know the answer, Karsten? <laughs> yeah, uh, I know how it's called in the literature, and I also know uh, Vichy Anand's uh, move, uh, which is a fine demonstration of the strengths of his attacking duo, but I don't want to claim that it's also called Anand's attacking duo. It's just in this specific case uh, it falls uh, together. But how oh, is it easy. called in general? <laughs> okay, Good I'm luck. already curious. Good luck.